King Saul. Uh, it's like, when you, he had that thing, what do you call it, when uh, people get really mad and they whip spears at you? I can't remember what that, uh, the world gave, gave that, uh, starts with an A, I think. That condition where you just like, you just, you get so angry and you can't control yourself. Well, listen, you're, they're, they're, the solution for all these things is just worshiping the Lord. Anything of darkness that tries to come through the temple of the Holy Ghost, which temple you are if you're a born-again believer, surrendering worship drives those things out. And then you don't have a stronghold of unrighteousness and anger in the flesh, but you have a stronghold of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Amen. I totally forgot what I was talking about. Guitars. Oh yeah, guitars. You can just worship God wherever you are. Spend time with the Lord. The more you worship the Lord, the more your eyes open to see what He's doing in heaven. And then you can do what you see You can in heaven. You can manifest on the earth. One time this prophet laid hands on me and I fell down. And... Uh, and uh, I was just, I got blasted. They prophesied over me. And he, he knew that I, he didn't know anything. I just met this guy. He's like, yeah, you're going to sing songs like David. It's going to release the brokenhearted. You're going to, uh, there's going to be an anointing there to, to break the yoke and stuff like that. And I'm on the floor crying and it was amazing. And the, those prophecies have come to pass. God started giving me songs and I, I would just sing them. And it, people would just hit the deck, fall on the floor. As soon as I strummed and opened my mouth, it's like, that's what he wanted to do through his body. That's what he wanted to do through me. He wants to do things through you. Maybe it's maybe you're the next David who will re release the anointing and break this oppressive stuff off of people, set people free. Maybe he wants to open your mouth and honey comes from the rock comes through your mouth and revelation and words of under, spiritual under, give spiritual understanding and impartation to those who are hungry for God. These things are made available for anyone. Maybe you're the next Enoch who will walk with God. Maybe you're the next Paul. Maybe you're the next, like, who knows? There's, you know, you're not Enoch, not Paul, but it's, you're, a, you're a Jessica, you're a, you're a Todd, you're a John, you're a whatever your name is. It's like, and your name is written in heaven, and what he did through you will be seen through all throughout heaven. Because you, you, you look at somebody in heaven, and you see the good, the righteous acts that they did on the earth. It's written on them. And it's like not to praise them. It just makes you want to worship God more. It's like, oh my gosh, this guy walked in humility and brought like five souls to the Lord. It's like, praise God that you could get through this guy's soul. You just want to worship God. Where's those five? That's 100% grace. And you go look for those five and then you go, you guys are here. Because this person obeyed God. And it was the grace of God operating in this guy's life. Wow, you're here. And they're like, yes, praise God. Yes, praise God. Praise God. And then we just start worshiping God. And the next thing you know, we're just laying on the, on the, on the grass. And the grass, is, the grass is singing worship songs to the Lord with us. Tanked. That's what heaven's like. Maybe you'll be the next person who just like led all these people to Jesus, not through self-effort, not through religious acts, but just because you're a mom on your knees praying for your children. Just because you let the Lord pray with intercedings through you, with groanings which cannot be uttered. You get caught up into the third he heaven. Get caught up into paradise. And you see these things that are just unbelievable. You don't know how words for it. And then God's like, I want you to go. Teach your children about me. You know, I don't know. Everybody's walk is different, but everybody's walk, everybody's destiny is like, it is so high. It, it's, it's better than anything you could ask, think, dream, or imagine. But it all comes at this one thing first. 
like with what I started, what I started it with at the beginning of this series is Paul, Saul, Saul, Paul, Saul saw Jesus. He was blinded and then he humbled himself, got humbled by this little guy praying for him. And then he started seeing Jesus from glory to glory. And it all starts right there. We got to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus for who he really is. I don't want to see Jesus through, like, I mean, I love seeing him in his body, but there comes a point, like, like how much sermons can you listen to? I need to see Jesus. I want to be laying on my bed, just meditating on God. And then God shows up and starts burning through my flesh. When I, I, just, I want to be at work one day and see an angel appear. He's, he's going right through the roof. You know, <laughs> the peace is coming off him. I know it's an angel of the Lord because I can feel the Lord coming through the angel. It's like, well, you shouldn't talk about, why? Jesus talked about angels. Everyone in the Bible talked about angels. The beginning of the Bible to the end of the Bible, it's full of people having angelic encounters. The reason some of us don't have angelic encounters is because maybe we weren't as hungry for God as these people. Maybe we're, we're more earthly minded and not spiritually minded enough. It's perfectly normal, perfectly biblical. Religion will try to shut down everything of Christ. You know why? I, was walk, I went for a walk this morning and I was listening to someone preach and then something else jumped out to me. It wasn't even what the person said. It was like religion wants to keep you powerless so that they can control you. Religion wants to take Christ out of the picture so that they can manipulate you and control you in the flesh. Because Christ sets us free. 